Sup everybody, I do apologize for the low volume, so you may want to just crank your volume up just a little bit, but today we are going to talk about the Nimbus. Now, some people have the clones of it, but this one's real. Of course it's on the Chiyu. Nice, sexy, sexy clone. But, uh, yeah. So here's the build that I got on it. Nice point three ohm coil. With some nice little, actually a considerable amount of wick on there. But, uh, let me show you guys <clears throat> so you can verify. It's always good to have some proof. So you don't think I'm bullshitting you. Just get my ohm reader. Up, oh, up, oh, upside down. There you go. Point five, point two. <laughs> it's not point two. It should be. There we go. All right. I guess it's point two. Hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be a bit jumpy. Point two. Point three whatever it gets the job done type of liquid that I'm using in this thing is a lot actually some Jam Damn. some Jameson's Irish blend this one is Melon Melody for some fucking reason my camera doesn't like flip it the the thing, so I, I apologize about that, but it'll do. We'll just have to make do with it. So this one flavor, Melon Melody, does taste a lot like watermelon, but if they would only make a whiskey flavor that actually tastes like that, you know? Nothing too expensive, because I know everybody would drink drinking that one. The bottle that it comes in, like that there's no dripping thing on it so it's not like you could you could take your bottle and just drip it on your coil so you're gonna have to get something like this just to fill it up you know that's what I do with my babies it's actually producing some good some great great vapor right now I've got it on a 18650 AWIMR I know you guys are thinking, no, that's th that thing can't handle enough amps. This uh, this coil is sucking out 12 amps. This battery can handle 10 amps. I'm just two amps above it. Trust me, I'm good. I'm good. I've been vaping. 0.3 ohm coils on AW IMR 18650s before, and uh, haven't had any problems. I do have a high drain battery that's rated at 30 amps. By a uh, M Nike or M M N K E, whatever the hell you want to call it, but uh, it suffices. I mean, that one's <laughs> talk about having some free space. Oh yeah, I got a lot of wiggle room in that one. Because I have a shit ton of wick in here, I could actually put a little bit of a considerable amount of liquid on there. I'm gonna say like ten drops. Eight, um, nine to ten drops, and I could fucking chain vape it. So it's actually giving some pretty good clouds too. I got that nice drip tip on there as well. I saw this one that's just like this. It's made out of jade, so I, I'll probably buy that either in a couple of days or so. All right, see how she vapes. I got two, three, um. Three thirty second air holes drilled on it and uh, hitting pretty hard. Oh, yeah, I 
<laughs> you know, I could actually nose hit this thing. Hitting pretty good, hitting pretty good. So far to take like a one second drag. Let me tell you, this camera does not do these clots justice. Let me, let me just kind of scoot back a little bit. Hold on. Got a dry hit. And it's not like, I don't just drip, drip, drip. I actually just saturate the coils. I just get the liquid and just squeeze the juice on, on the wick and just roll it down and just I just get it all in there I don't fuck around with just dripping it in there because whenever I do that I, I get a dry hit in like five hits it's ridiculous it's always good to have a shit ton of wicker there because man this thing eats your juice up it, it's a it's a gas guzzler <laughs> it's a it's a pretty good gas guzzler I actually want to get my wicks, just like a <clears throat> MC Vapes' video, Walking on Water. Because let me tell you, those wicks were fucking beautiful. <laughs> those were the most beautiful wicks I've ever seen. He has like, he has like three layers of wick. You have like one that like S's around, goes in through the coils, and then below that it goes into inside the well, and it was just, it was fucking beautiful. <laughs> it was. <clears throat> kind of dries up throat a little bit so um get some water all right let me show you Man, it dries your throat. I actually considered putting some Arctic Wolf in here, and then I realized, no, no, that would suck. That would suck. I would, even at zero nick, I would cough on that. That thing is ridiculous. Oh man, ah, beautiful flavor, beautiful flavor. So I like to switch around between flavors just to keep it interesting, but on that Nimbus it, it pops. And I like how that juice well is nice and um, nice and deep, so that way um, if you over drip you got a nice cup, you won't be walking on water or anything. Um, the threads on it, the, not thread, the, oh, actually yeah, the threads are pretty damn smooth. Uh, the top cap, uh, not the top cap, the, um, what's it called? The O-rings on the, on the deck, where you connect the top cap to it. I have a like, and, and that like is a dislike. It's like a love-hate relationship, where it comes off so easy, but it, but it, you can get it on there pretty, pretty easy as well. I like that because I don't have to like struggle just to take it off every time but um I dislike that because when it's in my pocket and I'm pulling it out I, I'll sometimes pull it out just as easy I, let, let me show you how how loose it is alright so I'm holding the chi Nimbus there you go but <clears throat> some people love it some people don't I like how in there it's pretty damn pretty damn deep it goes up to up to right there on my finger. I got some pretty big fingers, so um, yeah. So I'm gonna just get another flavor right now. <clears throat> Not menthol. 
Let's get some blackberry. Oh, blackberry back. Black cherry by Voodoo. And yeah, I got a 30 mil bottle of that and the John Jameson. Not John, the Jameson. So instead of just dripping on there, I'll just saturate it and just get it nice and on there. It's just my personal preference. There's nothing, nothing fancy, no secrets going on there. It's just, it's just all in here. Some people like it, some people don't. I personally prefer it. A lot of these really good vapors that I know prefer to doing that. Some people love dripping. It's all good. Either way, you're getting, you're getting that wick nice and wet. I just like some puts. I, I like to put some juice in that juice well just to, just to keep myself good, you know. My battery is still charging, but it's all good. I got three. I got two AW eighteen six fifty IMRs, and a, uh, and the hydrine. And the flavor on the Nimbus really pops. It it really pulls out the flavor of. I've, I've tried vaping it on BB Novas. I've tried putting it in my kangaroo vault with a micro coil. So with a micro coil, that flavor is almost guaranteed to, to you know, you'll taste it. And it it'll amplify it. That's the word I'm looking for. <clears throat> and it gets the job done. But uh, if on an atomizer, it pops, especially with an Nimbus. Even at 0.3 ohms, I still get that flavor. You know, that flavor is still there. like cherries. <laughs> Literally tastes exactly like black cherries. And I think it's 100% VG, man. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I think it is. I know this one <clears throat> e-liquid that I have is 100% VG, but... Uh, But yeah, so the Nimbus on Chiyu clone, great vape, great, great vape. I haven't tried it on my Nemesis yet because I sold it to my friend, and it was a clone, but it's still working good. Got my usual Lush Vapor Simply Menthol with Arctic Wolf in here. It's like 70% Lush Vapor, 30% Arctic Wolf. Some people are like, dude, that's too strong, only put a couple drops. Well, I started off that way. Her room is fucking boxed. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> a side story. <laughs> but no, I, I like. I'm starting to grow on me a little bit. It's getting to that point where I can't vape the lush. <laughs> I can't vape menthol unless there's Arctic Wolf in there, just because I, I need that mint. I'm such a menthol lover. If you're a menthol lover, you'll love Arctic Wolf. If you love cherry flavors, you'll love black cherry by Voodoo. <clears throat> if you love melon flavors, but you don't want just a melon flavor, you want it to be a little complex, Jameson's Irish, Irish blend. I believe both are made in Southern California as well, except on um, uh, Arctic Wolf. I believe that one and Lush Vapor is made elsewhere, but don't quote me on that. Arctic Wolf you can get on Vapor God. Uh, online. But all things considered, really, really great product. Great product. Um, I got it for 70. I'm not sure on the prices, but I know the clones are like 45 or something like that. But um, yeah, I, I, I really, really recommend it. The um, first post second post, third post, so there are three posts. You can put a single, dual, three, three, a tri, or a quad coil. You could, um, <clears throat> you could put a, an eight coil on there if you're feeling, like, as Grim Green said, if you got a wild hair up your ass, you could do that. I really want to try a quad coil, though. Give me, um, give me a 
couple weeks to a month of vaping this one, and I'll eventually put a quad coil in there. Great, great vapor production. If you if you want a if you want an atomizer that's giving you some great vapor production, Nimbus, all the way. Go sub ohms. You know, people say, man, if you want vapor production, you don't have to do sub ohms. You can do one or 1.5 ohms. Yeah, you can, but in reality, there's all these Facebook people that vape at sub ohms, Vape Life, MC Vapes, Clouds of Icarus. And you know those ridiculous clouds that they get? All that great vapor production is from sub ohm coils. You know, 0.4 ohms, 0.2 ohms, 0.25. You know, that's where it's at. Now, if you build a micro coil perfectly and put a dual micro, then yeah, hell yeah, or a quad micro, and, and all the every single micro coil is perfect and it's at like one ohm, or maybe that could be a bit low with for a micro, uh, maybe um, maybe I've never vaped a quad micro coil and I've never seen somebody try it, but um. I'm assuming 1.2 ohms, don't quote me on that, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, that, that'll that give you some good vapor production. Micro coils are for flavor, though. Like, let's say you don't want to try a stock coil, like on a pro tank head, and you want more flavor, and you want a bit, a considerable amount of more vapor, then, you know, drop a micro coil on your pro tank, you know, or drop a micro coil in this. But if you want just if you still want flavor, but you want vapor production, obviously, go sub ohm and make sure your battery can handle it too. If you have like, if you have coil, coil, if you have a coil or coils like dual or a quad that are sucking out like 15 amps, don't use it on a battery that's rated at seven amps. For fuck's sake, you're just you're gonna you're gonna have your homemade pipe bomb if you try something like that. Get get a make sure you you're going. If your battery's rated at like 10 amps or like 15 amps, only go two amps above max. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Max should be uh, what the battery can maximum, uh, the load it can output. You know, don't push that battery over its limits, man. Because you, you'll short out your battery, you'll short out your coils, you'll blow your face off. <laughs> It's a bit of an exaggeration, but you'll fuck up your build, and you may fuck up your mod too. You, you may. I don't know if it's possible, but you could melt your firing pins, you could fuck up your firing pins, or, you know, I don't know if that's possible, but, but yeah. Great flavor, great, great flavor. I'll, um, I'll make another video, it'll probably be like a two minute video, or not a two minute, it'll probably be like a five minute video of me, you know, I'll just, I'll put a quad coil in here, I'll make it at like 0.3 ohms, because that's usually where I vape 0.3, because I think 0 0.2, 0 0.1 is dangerously low, but I'll, I'll vape a 0.3, I'll vape a 0.4, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, you could, you could do it, you know, it's, it's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna hurt you. You know, it's vaping for fuck's sake. You know, we're not, we're not putting a, a .001 ohm coil and we're putting weed in there on on a, on a shitty ass battery. You're not doing that. You know, it's, if you're doing it safely, then by all means, man, all the way. You know, drop that shit to .15 ohms. You know, do it. If your battery could handle it, fuck it, do it. Chase those clouds. <laughs> and you're seeing how many how many toots I can take from this thing with that black cherry with that voodoo. And I haven't had a drip it, that's like what, ten toots? Twelve toots right there? And I only put like maybe nine drops <laughs> uh, that's, that's a win that's a that's a win in my book rule of thumb for for dripping 
I don't know if I'm just whistling Dixie out of my ass or if I'm actually onto something, but you want to make sure that the amount of tooths you take or drags you take in proportion to how many drops you put, the number of tooths exceeds the number of drops. So let's say you put five drops. You you want to be able to you get to, you want to be able to get ten tooths out of it because that'd be beautiful because that means you're not you're not breaking even on 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 the liquid you know. <clears throat> or if you're putting 10 drops, you're getting 15 tooths or 20 tooths out of it, you know, because that's that's beautiful, you know, people love that. <laughs> or, uh, it'd, be, it'd be really awesome if they make a certain type of wick or, or you can only put like two drops and you can get like 10 tooths out of it, you know. That'd be awesome, I'd love to see that. I'd be, you know, <laughs> for me it'd be one of those shut up and take my money types of things. <laughs> You know, put five drops, get like 20, 30 drags out of it. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. That'd be awesome. You could just chain bait that shit all day. You could buy a 10 mil bottle for like five bucks and that'll last you a week or two. Because when you're dripping and if, if you're... Yeah, yeah, you can kill a 10 mil bottle in like five hours of just dripping and just on the computer, on Facebook, just doing your shit, you know? Yeah, you can do that, but... It'd be preferable if that 10 mil bottle, especially on a dripper, will last you like, you know, a couple weeks. That'd be, that'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> or if they make a, a new liquid that burns hot, but it burns slow, you know, that'd be fucking sick. Especially on like a, on an HH357, put like, put like three drops in there, just, you can vape that shit like, for a good eight hours, <laughs> you know, without having to drip again, without getting a dry hit. That'd be awesome. But yeah, so this video is running kind of long. Final thoughts. Nimbus, either a real or a clone, doesn't matter. They're both the same shit. On a Chiyu clone, excellent. Vapor production, outstanding. If you build your coils good, if you build them right, then oh, oh yeah, you can enter a vape contest and... You know, you, you'd be you'd be some definite, some considerable competition to all the other people. You can definitely box a box a car with a couple of hits on it. I was, you know, I, I bought it a, um, <clears throat> a while ago. Actually, no, it wasn't a while ago. It was a day or ago, two days. But um, it was in my car with my friends, and I was. I was able to box my fucking car. It's a fucking, it's a van. It's a minivan. I was able to box that shit with like four toots on this shit, man. Damn, even all, even you know, one of my one of my friends is like getting some good vapor production there, buddy. <laughs> getting some good clouds there. I'm like, hell yeah. And if you're looking at the video and you're thinking, man, those aren't some good clouds, that's just because the camera doesn't do it justice. It's a webcam, basically. You know, it's what I got. You know, I feel the need to be able to share with the vaping community how good a product is. You know, that's that's just that's just me personally. You know, I don't know about any of you guys. Do a couple more tooths for you. We'll wrap it up. You go all the way back. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, that's what I got everybody. Thanks for watching. Happy babes.